Hey what's up guys this is creative creator here so i am back with a brand new video of adreno projects so in this video i am going to show you how you can make a fading led with adreno so without being said leave a like and subscribe to my channel and let's get started For fading the LED, we just have to know the another term called PWM, better known as pulse width modulation. It is a technique for getting analog results which digital means. By using the function digital write, you can get only high and low value like 5 volt and 0 volt separately. But by using another function called analog write, we can get 0 to 5 to any volt we can get. From the graph, you can get a rough idea of the duty cycles. The output values are between 0 to 255. For the coding portion, we just have to take an integer first. So I am just writing integer LED equal to 11 then semicolon. So what that is means that we have taken a pin number 11 which is a PWM pin. So you can just operate it by PWM. Okay, so after that I have just taken a pin mode. 11 equal to output because it, it will be in output section so for the second for loop option we just have to take another integer so i have just declared int i okay so in the void loop option i am just taking the integer i equal to 0 then semicolon then i less than 255 and then less uh, semicolon then i equal to i plus 1 it is this it is the main thing okay i plus one is a very mm, very slowly it will work so i'm just taking i plus five because it will work faster than i plus one for the for loop we just have to make one second bracket open and second bracket close and in that there will be a quotation of analog right so here it, it will be analog right open bracket then 11 which is basically our integer led which is basically is considered as the output and then comma the value which i have taken in teacher i int i okay so uh, how the program will work is so firstly it will take i equal to zero then e then the second thing is i less than 255 yes it is less than 255 because zero is less than 255 and then it will be added to i plus 5 then 0 plus 5 equal to 5 so here will be 5 uh, the value of analog right will be 5 and then the 5 value will be put into the i equal to 0 value so there will be 5 less than 255 so it is it is ready so after that we are just given the delay function for the 70 seconds the things will stay one thing will be stay for some time and then 70 seconds delay and then it will work purely it is the it will work for 250 only 255 only okay so for the for dimming the led we just have to take another integer for that i am just taking k and we have to just make a code which is definitely the opposite of the first code so i'm just oppositing the first code so you can see for the thing it will be k equal to 255 then semicolon k greater than 0 and k equal to k minus 5 because that was that time k, if we consider k equal to uh, 1 then it will take so much time so the quotation and the syntax will be analog write 11 comma output uh, 11 uh, the analog write 11 comma k and then semi uh, close bracket and then semicolon and there it will be i also taking considering uh, and i also considering uh, 70 millisecond and you can and you can consider also 100 seconds also 100 milliseconds also so you have to take seen that int k here is the int k function firstly here will it will be k equal to 255 then it cons the second function is k greater than 0 obviously 255 greater than 0 so after that the, it will consider that k minus 5 so here will be 255 minus 5 so it will be 250 and then the it will be processed one by one okay so here in my hand is the adreno board here you can see the 11 number pin which is basically a symbol 11 number pin uh, is the pwm uh, pin and then we have just connected the positive of the pin to of the led with the 11th number pin and the ground of the pin with the led is negative the bigger terminal is a positive and the lowest terminal is a negative. We just powered it up 
and, and uploaded the code for seeing it is working or not. After you can see when I'm just just uploading the code, let's let's see what is working or not. After uploading the code, you can see the code is not working properly. We have just done something wrong, so we have just have to do something change for the working it properly. The coding problem you can see if you notice it properly, then the code problem is for for function. Here will be a semicolon. It will not be a semicolon for the because if we use the semicolon then the code i equal to zero will be stayed forever so we have to don't use the semicolon compiling the program then you can see the program is running properly 100% duty cycle means the full output which is equal to 5 volt and the value will be 255 0% means 0 volt and value is 0 you obviously know and you can get a percentage values with unitary method like 5 volt for the value of 255 1 volt for what and so on for observing it properly i have just placed a white paper in front of it so you can see the led led's brightness is is going to up and going to low so it is the perfect example of fading led so guys here is the end of the video if you like this video helpful then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you haven't already and stay creative keep loving tech this is Hitman signing out hope to see you in my next one